This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. As always, we are your hosts. I'm Rudy V, along with Anthony Ray. We're so excited about this show, guys. We have a very special guest. We have Dee Marie, co-founder, CEO, and owner of Yogi Dog. In case you haven't heard, guys, it's yogurt for dogs. Yogurt for dogs. Who would have thought that? Hi, Ant? <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it's, it's human grade, apparently. So people are eating it. Dogs are eating it. Um, I love yogurt, so I'm, I'm definitely excited about this episode for sure. I want to learn a little bit about it. You love yogurt, but yogurt is good for you, though. And you is love it? you. Well, yeah. Well, y- Yogi Dog is. I know that. <laughs> I, I know Yogi Dog is, but I mean, I don't know. Yogurt, let's put it this way. If there was a Taco Bell burrito flavored yogurt, I would definitely be into <laughs> that for sure. I love yogurt. <laughs> Listen, yogurt is good and it's good for you. It's got the uh, it's got the probiotics. It's got you know it's healthy uh, for the, the digestive system. It's got the cultures and all that. You know, yeah. it's good stuff. We need to be putting good stuff into our bodies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. I mean, you hearing me at? Even the, yes, even the, <laughs> am I hearing you? <laughs> listen, listen, the, the fast food places, I got to support my boys. All right. They're trying hard. Taco Bell has like a salad now, I think. <laughs> they're, they're, they're trying, they're trying. You they got know? breakfast. Yeah. Listen, when I think of salad, I always think of Taco Bell. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, really? There you go. Now you're getting it. Come on, man. Now you're getting it. <laughs> Although I did hear that Wendy's salads are actually delicious. People love them. But uh, really? I, I usually go with the Baconator. <laughs> I, I go with the triple. They still have the, cl- they, when I go in, I go with the classic triple. I'm old school. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know, I just chop it up into a bunch of pieces. Oh, you got a Baconator salad. There you go. Put <laughs> a little lettuce on it. A little lettuce on it. You know, if you chop it up, it's like more like a portion control thing too. It's like, oh, I'm not eating that much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not eating that much. It's, it's, you know, it's a nice little salad. This is why I'm happy Dee Marie is here today so that she could help us learn <laughs> a little bit about some healthy stuff that we can eat because, uh, you know, Yogi Dog is pretty awesome with that stuff that I can't believe uh, with some of the ingredients, just some, some of the stuff about them is, is really nuts with how far they went to create a healthy snack for dogs and people, actually. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. So listen, why don't we go to break and when we come back, we'll be talking to uh, Dee Marie from Yogi Dog and uh, we'll find out all about her product when we come back on Groomer Humor. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Dynavite for life. Pick up two tubes of Doggo Suds. Get the third tube free. Peppermint, tea tree, lavender. Doggo Sud Shampoo. Made with all natural coconut, jojoba, aloe. Great for healthy skin and soft, shiny coats. But no itchy, harsh chemicals. Lather up, rinse away. Try Doggo Suds. Buy two, get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. As we said before the break, we have a very special guest with us today. We have Dee Marie, co-founder, CEO, owner of Yogi Dog. Welcome to the show, Dee Marie. Thank you. Glad to be here and uh, love you guys and your show. So thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, we love you too. Thank you so much for saying that. Spread the love, spread the love, because that's what we're all about. So let's get started. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're located, and how you came up with this fantastic idea of yogurt for dogs. Well, we are out in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, just outside of Harrisburg. It's been about two years now, and I was over touring the yogurt plant of my now business partner in Yogi Dog, Mike, who is a food scientist and makes the yogurt. And uh, so I was touring his plant, it was August of 17, and, and, uh, you know, tasting his yogurt, and it was, you know, he's just a very good quality product. Then a few days later, I went back and I said, hey, you need to make yogurt for dogs. And he said, great, let's do it. So 
so it began, and we, uh, you know, created the brand and everything that went along with it, and just making a super healthy, all natural dog treat. What a terrific idea! I mean, you know, who would have thought of you know creating a yogurt for dogs? So again, I just commend you for that. It's an awesome idea. Um, yeah. So tell us a little bit about, say, the benefits of the yogurt. How can it help, you know, from the health aspect for dogs? Well, firstly, we started when to create the yogurt, and Mike being the food scientist, it was basically taking out all the bad of yogurt. So it's sugar-free, it's lactose-free, it's low-fat, it's all natural. And then he put in eight live and active cultures and probiotics. Most yogurts have like three. The top yogurts have maybe five. So the more cultures and probiotics in a yogurt, the more beneficial it is for the digestive system, for people and for dogs. So, and this is actually Yogi Dog is a human grade yogurt. I eat it every morning. It's <laughs> healthy. Yeah. It's made with high grade Lancaster cow milk. And <laughs> it's just a super healthy food. So dogs are benefiting. We're getting a lot of feedback of people that they're seeing a difference in the dog's digestive system. And, you know, sometimes dogs can have some issues on and off and they see more consistent uh, digestive tract, if you know what I mean. <laughs> sure. Yeah. No, listen, it doesn't get better than a Lancaster cow. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> uh, and and uh, on our show, if you've ever listened to us, and, yes. um, and many people do, we really love the human grade aspect of things because uh, we always try to tell people we wouldn't want to feed anything to our dog that we wouldn't eat ourselves. Okay. And from that perspective, from a from a dog grooming perspective, what we find is when people are taking note of this and they're either using Yogi Dog to benefit their health or they just have their dog on a really good diet, we see the result of that too because dogs are coming in with less bloating problems, less skin problems, and the grooming process just goes so much better because, you know, everybody knows if you try to pick up a dog, dog that has, say, a bloating problem, it's going to hurt them. They can't stand on the table as long. So we love the health aspect of your product, Yogi Dog. So and it improves their coat, their coat as well. I mean, there's a whole list of stuff that just the dairy, the dairy aspect does help all over, like you said, skin and fur and nails. And so it's, it's beyond, it's inside and outside. So, and as a groomer, I guess you could see that too in a, in a shiny coat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and and it makes all the difference in the world too because you know with a healthier coat the grooming process just goes by so much easier for the dog and myself as a groomer, you know, a, a dog with a bad coat or health problems, it just really is and again it's not so much me, I'm always about the dog and uh if it's easier for them, I'm just happy. Uh mm -hmm. so again, we just appreciate you and and people like you that are choosing this healthy option that we probably didn't have even uh, 10 years ago like people just weren't talking about it i'm so glad we are today yeah absolutely yeah we and i get a lot of that feedback because i do a lot of uh, dog shows from the super pet show to the world dog expo and all small big events so i get uh, now i'm getting a lot of feedback from people that do have their dog on it and how they do want a healthier diet people as you said want to have their dog eating as healthy as they want to eat anymore so um, and this is just a whole new category, which there is nothing else on the market for a dog like this. Um, and it does differ from human yogurt, because I get that a lot, because most yogurt, like everything else made in this country, has sugar in it. So we didn't put any sugar in it. Sugar is really bad for a dog. And we took out the lactose, which there's not really a lot of non-lactose yogurts out there as well. So with people, they can tell if they have lactose issues. With dogs, you can't, you know, so we took that out of there, took it out of the equation, and so it's not a factor. So they can get all the benefits of the yogurt without having any side issues um, with right. lactose. Yeah. 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 Dad, you could you could use some coat improvement. <laughs> really? Yourself. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. So what, what do I do? Just slap it on my head and may, maybe the probiotics will <laughs> so promote some new hair growth I, or something? I don't know. Let's ask mm -hmm. Dean Marie. Dean Marie, if, he, if my dad <laughs> smacks some of your yogurt on the top of his head, you think a fuzz can pop through or something? Uh, I you think know. probably if he ate it and ingested it, <laughs> <it's more beneficial>. <laughs> <laughs> it might work a little better that way. <laughs> well, well the, the eating part of it is all Anthony. He would probably just, you know, scoff the whole thing down container and all because uh, he just, you know, he loves to eat. So I like yeah. to eat. But it's all. <laughs> 
He well, eats. <laughs> it's not even fair. He eats more than I do, and he doesn't gain anything. I have a burrito from Taco Bell, and I gain fifty pounds. It's not even right. <laughs> it's not even fair. I'm just gonna start eating Yogi Dog from like now on. I'll do a trade off, Anthony. Give me some of your hair. I'll give you some of my muscle. How about that? <laughs> and, and and we'll we'll both go on Yogi Dog, and and you know, and be healthier. How about that? Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. I'll deal. So here, I have another. Aside from the health. <laughs> Aside from the the health aspects of this and benefits of it, let's talk a little bit about the flavor because I know that uh, it comes in three different flavors. Talk a little bit about that. Talk a little bit about you know how receptive dogs are and how they, how much they like it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, well, we have three flavors. We have original, which is basically a plain yogurt, and we have cheddar, and we have cheddar cheese, of course, and then we have peanut butter. So the top seller is, I'm sure you can guess, peanut uh- butter. Uh, that's what I was going to go with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, always the go-to. Um, and, you know, the, the cheddar is uh, – and cheddar and original. You know, they're actually – I enjoy it all. But, yeah. but yeah. When, I do, when I do dog uh, events that there, people bring their dogs, and I put down – I have the sample dishes, and I put down, like, one of each. And basically <laughs> most of them just go through and, not, like, eat each one. So – they're not really, I don't see a big, you know, nobody, none of the dogs turn their nose up at any of the flavors. So, but the peanut butter, of course, their furry family members are buying it for them. So most of them buy the peanut butter, but you know, the others are kind of right behind them. I think Anthony would have went with cheddar right off the bat. Wow. I just, <laughs> wow. I'm just saying, I know you, you're my son. I so regret getting this train started and messing with you because now this is this is what happens. D. I'll say one little thing and then the rest of the show he'll just destroy me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you're right though. I would have picked. I, I personally, I'm a cheddar guy. So well, you can. I, I, yeah. You can try that one first, then. I will. And I we plan al- on it. We also love that you're a Jersey girl, D. Marie. Um, I am. So yes, I, I am. I'm from North Jersey originally, and just around the corner from you guys. See that? Smart people come out of New Jersey. <laughs> you know, what happened to us, though, Ann? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm half Cuban, and I failed Spanish class. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I had uh, to cheat off my friend Renzo. You need some um, Yogi Dog, man. Yeah. I was always more street smart, not really, uh, not really book smart. That's why I do YouTube now. You don't have to read much. Well, that's why I, you know, I scrub dogs' butts because I, I just <laughs> didn't, I didn't do well academically. So, but uh, I absolutely love what I do. So, um, no, I no quarrels there. We all do. Yeah, we th- do. I like, I like where we're at. Don't, yeah. And D, you seem to love what you're doing. You're so passionate about it, and I, and I love it. I love the whole look of it. The, the name is great. Uh, the health benefits, just all of it. I love it. When we met you guys at the expo, it was just like, oh, we're definitely having them on the show. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. I mean, because it, it is just so new because I, you know, I do get this feedback. They're like, wow, this is great. And some people say, wow, why didn't I think of this? Because it's, you know, it's just so healthy. There were more challenges because it's a refrigerated product. So, you know, we've dealt with that. And, you know, that's how we've ended up in the grocery store yogurt aisle, which really makes the most sense. So, but yeah, but it's it's great to be able to, you know, it's a little more work and it is in a different location, but the end result is the dogs are, are benefiting from it, you know, a whole lot more than a lot of the other treats out there and, and eating it every day on top of their food is what we suggest. So yeah, it's, it's really, you know, it's a fun, it's a great thing. If you're going to sell something, sell a dog product, I say, because everyone loves dogs and everyone loves right. their food. So it's sure. just been really... It's been a, a fun experience to this point and just happy to be able to provide a, a healthy treat. How long have you been doing it? Uh... Well, the, the, the concept was two years ago, but we have just, we've been on the shelves only just over a year. So once, you know, the product, we got the product, we had it in the packaging and all that. It was probably just about um, a year, just over a year ago we've been wow. in the store. That's actually really impressive. <laughs> that's fast it seems like to me <laughs> it does yes it's kind of but um on this end it's you know it's 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 just the getting started and it's you know we're not going next to the other dog yogurt yogurt for dogs we are a whole new category so it's now educating and just making people aware of the product is is our biggest thing that we need to do which we do through social media we've got a great again back to my marketing gal tara and her gang our instagram is fabulous our facebook is fun i mean if you love dogs go check out our instagram every um every couple days there's something new on there and it shows where we are and it shows where tony who drives the yogi van throughout new jersey is he's taking a picture of when he's delivering of 
our latest Yogi fan because he's telling people about it in the store. They'll come up and say, "Hey, what's that?" And mm. you know, invariably buy a couple of them. So he, but he on the Instagram, um, it's Yogi Dog Yogurt is our Instagram name, and that's also our Facebook name. So it's a fun, fun uh, Instagram. If you love dogs, add you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm adding you right now. Yeah. Screw it. I don't yeah. even care yeah, if we're recording right now. I'm I'm on my phone right now. Yeah, you're hearing it, guys. You know, right here, right here on Groomer Humor, you're hearing it all yeah. with uh, D Marie. And uh, just go to www.yogidog.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and check her out. D Marie, I have a question. When you yeah, say, I sh- clarify, uh-huh. I'm sorry. The, I'm the, sorry. Did I miss our up? website? No, no, because oh. that's our like Instagram and our Facebook is Yogi Dog Yogurt, but our website is www.yogi-dog.com. Just to clarify, just for those that will, because once you get the yeah. website, then you can connect to all the other stuff too. Yeah. Also, you can find the locations of where we are at this point, from the East Coast up to New England, um, on our locations tab. But can you um, <laughs> mention? Yeah, no, that's good. Thank you. No, we could. Uh, yeah. We'll definitely make note of that. So, and where are some of your locations? Can you mention? Well, that? In, uh, mm-hmm. we're, we we are heavily concentrated in New Jersey. We're in Shoprites in New Jersey. We're in various other like some pet shops. Not a lot of pet shops have refrigeration, but some do. So we're in some pet shops in various areas. But up through New England, we're in Big Y. We're actually just just got into key foods so we'll be in most of the key foods um, which is also in your area from new york new jersey and that northern area we're headed down south uh, we have a couple locations we'll or a couple stores if you're down south we should be in ingles soon which is a large grocery store down there mm-hmm. um, so the, the plan but again the best thing is to go to our website and check out the location page and see which which store is closest to you but you know the plan is we're heading south so then we'll be on the whole eastern coast and then from there we're going to go to the west and i would hope within a year and a half a year we will be national as in every grocery store from here to california sounds like you will be absolutely we're we're working on it (laughs) yeah And uh, on our end, because uh, we have a, a pretty hefty clientele at our dog grooming shop, we're definitely going to uh, talk about your product and, uh, you know, inform people and, uh, you know, get as many uh, dogs on it as we can, you know. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. I have a silly question. Do you ever find that dogs really do just eat it right out of the container? I mean, is that, oh, will they? Yes, <laughs> yeah, they, do. they do, they do. And, uh, you know, it's um, like anything, too much of a good thing. It can sure. then create other issues. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. So it, it should be regimented, and it and, sh- and should and, be okay. like yeah. You shouldn't eat the entire <laughs> cup of ice cream, and you shouldn't want to eat the entire. I know some people do give it the whole cup to their dog. Mm. We, again, it's more the best way to get it is a tablespoon or two on every meal. So most dogs eat a couple times a day, so they'll get four to five tablespoons a day on their food or you can just give it to them off the spoon okay in the summer we actually say you know what take a cup pop it in the freezer and let them take it out let them lick it for five ten minutes whatever and you know or down to whatever or the whatever amount depending on the size of the dog and then put the lid back on back in the freezer for another day to, to have them enjoy it that way because you know I, of course a lot of people say oh i give my dog ice cream i'm like oh that's really bad <laughs> yeah, <them>. yeah. <laughs> this is a great alternative sure You know, it's not live and active when it's frozen, but it's still better than ice cream. And and there's a certain amount of the the cultures that come back to life once they're reheated in the body. So, yeah, so that's it's a couple different ways to eat that or just a treat off the spoon. What a treat. I'm glad you mentioned that. Like some people, it drives me crazy once in a while. I did a video a while back, like a year ago on things to not feed your dog. Yeah. Um, because some people are just way too laxed with that. Um, something as simple as like shoveling potato chips <laughs> in their dog's mouth, like, oh, you know, yeah. at a party. And I, I get it. It's really easy to, oh, you want a pretzel, sweetheart? Here you go. And it's like, but that salt that's in there, it's right. so damaging. And it's sometimes it's things you wouldn't have guessed it, but we always tell all of our customers, all of our listeners, don't give your dog table food. There are way too many good alternatives for dogs. Then They don't need to be eating our food. Our food, you know, it's- is bad enough for us. Exactly. Yeah, they'll, then they'll say, well, they ate it. It's like, well, you know, some dogs will eat mostly anything, and especially if you're giving it to them. But, you know, I, I feel it's like our responsibility to give them the right thing. Even if we're not eating the right thing, we should be giving them the right food so so they can live a longer life. So, For yes, sure. At least For that's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you in the next couple of years, the lifespan of a dog is going to increase just from all of these great 
inventions and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I hope so. I would say, yeah. probably. Yeah, everyone, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of uh, much healthier stuff, as you said, out there. It's just, um, just kind of starting to turn now. And, you know, dogs are our family, so we want oh, to They really are. That's oh, like, yeah. Dogs truly are. They, I mean, it's incredible. And I love what I'm seeing because it's just everybody's thinking that now. Just dogs have gained so much help and cats too. Just pets in general have gained so much help over the last couple of years because everybody's coming together with these great ideas and taking it seriously. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the the industry itself has just really grown. And uh, as Anthony said, I think just more and more people are just becoming more aware, more health conscious. And I think it reflects on us, too. I think people are becoming a little bit more health conscious, too. And as you said, DeMarie, why not just, you know, give it to our dogs as well? So, uh, again, that's what we're all about. And just glad to have you on the show once again. You know, we love your product. Where do you uh, see Yogi Dog going in the near future? What and any future plans? Uh, Out to the west. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just want you want to expand. Yeah, expanding. I mean, we're mm-hmm. really. It's a matter of we because the big thing is one people knowing about it and two where to find it. So we have to be consistent with that and be in grocery stores in the yogurt dairy aisle, not in the pot aisle, but yogurt dairy aisle. And if you don't see it, ask the one of the dairy people working there because most supermarkets, there's somebody always in the, one of the aisles. So basically to, to put it there so people know where to find it and just continue to grow. And, you know, we get emails from across across the country, emails, Instagrams, whatever, wherever they contact us about, can they get it here? Can you ship it? Can you, in fact, just before we went on here, I got another email can you can you ship it through the mail and we can't because of it being refrigerated so right. we're kind of you know of course most things go through the mail anymore or shipped but we can't do that so we have to basically be get into stores throughout the country so people everywhere can get this for their dog so that's our goal and that's you know i think that might take a little bit of time but that's what we'll be working on in the future to be national in all grocery stores no, it yeah. seems to be moving right ahead, though, <laughs> so far. I mean, really, you guys have but, uh, two years, only a year being in store. Like, that's just, that seems like so much. It's very impressive to me. Well, thank we, you. Thank you. Yeah, we de- we, we're definitely going to follow you, and we want to, you know, we want to have you back on the show again and, you know, and just, you know, show your progression and everything. Because, again, we just, we love uh, healthy things, and we just love our dogs, as you said. I mean, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we do a lot of events, and you can, you know, again, we have that. We always post where we'll be bunch of events coming up and especially in the summer of course through fall so if anybody wants to come and see us and meet us we do the the sample thing with the yogi dog and usually have some other things going on at our booth so yeah i would would um we'd love to keep interacting with people and we'd love to come back and chat with you guys definitely definitely absolutely um yeah. So where can uh, where else can people find you? We said earlier, uh, what was it? A uh, yogi dash dog dot com. <laughs> my dad, of course. We're, we're, we're gonna up. we're gonna let you do it. We'll let you. <laughs> yeah. do it. Why don't I we apologize. let you do it? Go ahead, tell everybody where they could find you. <laughs> well, well, our website. The key is go to our website, and from there you can find everything. But it's www.yogi dash dog dot com. And then from there, you'll see where our Instagram and our Facebook connect in. But our Instagram and Facebook are just Yogi Dog Yogurt. So, yeah. And then from there, again, you can see where we're, what stores we're in. Um, you can read all about Yogi Dog. You can um, just see where we're going to be as far as events are going. So, it's it's a pretty, it's an all-inclusive website. <laughs> so, Marie, is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, let's see. We didn't mention the brand ambassadors, which we are always, that are, of course, our, our furry brand ambassadors. So... If um, any parents want to send in a picture of their dog and with the possibility of being a brand ambassador, uh, Yogi Dog brand ambassador, send it on in to us. Go on our Instagram page or our Facebook, and then um, we'll take a look at that, and maybe they could be the next brand ambassador for uh, Yogi Dog. That sounds awesome. I like that. I want to be a brand ambassador myself. I want to be a brand ambassador, too. No, you don't have enough hair. Oh. (laughs) you got to have the coat. (laughs) Anyway, so... No, oh, what, what? You got to get another uh, insult for me before no, I say goodbye no, to everybody. I, I, no, I just wanted to mention that you know she said every, you know everything and you know in portion control. So when you start eating Yogi Dog Ant, you just can't scoff down the whole container, even though yeah. I know you'll love it. Right. But uh, so I just it, want to thank Dee Marie for being on our show. Thank you so thank much, Dee Marie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> the next time. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. We can't wait to have you back. Guys, everybody, don't forget yogi-dog.com. Go and check them out. All their other stuff is there. You can learn about them. 
tell people about them too. Let's help them get going and continue to grow because this is a great product. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you again, Dean Marie, for being on the show. Thank you, Mark, our producer. Uh, if you haven't done so already, head on over to our YouTube channel. It's called Grooming by Rudy. That's Grooming by Rudy on YouTube.com. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. We want to hear from you guys. You could also like Grooming by Rudy on Facebook. Follow Grooming by Rudy on Instagram and Twitter. It has been an absolute pleasure. As always, take care of yourselves and your pets. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.